This year, 2014, marks the Centennial Foundation of Cardona, a third-class municipality in the province of Rizal, Philippines. As a fishing community, Cardona has a population of at least 50,000 inhabitants in around 8,000 households spread in 18 barangays, 11 of which are on the mainland and 7 on Talim Island. Oral folklore tells how the name Cardona was derived from the Spanish word caldo, referring to a native rice broth. Supposedly, a stranger walking through the street of the town happened to ask the name of the town from a native who at the time was enjoying a ball of hot caldo. Thinking that a stranger was inquiring as to what he was eating, the native answered, caldo. It is believed that the town of Cardona was founded in 1854 during Spanish regime it was formerly known as Sapau, a visita founded to honor a miraculous painting of the Nuestra Señora del Rosario, which was then housed in the Church of Moron. In 1855, Cardona became a town and its boundaries were set in 1857. In June 1901, Cardona formed part of the newly created province of Rizal through Act 137 promulgated by the Philippine Commission. In 1914, Executive Order 108, issued by Governor General Francis Burton Harrison, established Cardona as independent municipality. Today, under the leadership of Mayor San Juan, he has steered the town towards sustainable and balanced development guided by his mission through a well-defined development plan and a core of honest and dedicated public servants working hand-in-hand -hand with the people with the end goal of pursuing economic growth with equity. Mayor San Juan's key to success rests on his continuous introduction of innovation and strategies in implementing his six-point agenda. There are 14 public elementary schools in Cardona. Most of the settlement areas in Cardona are located near the rim of Laguna de Bay. Except for the upland barangays of Del Remedio and Iglesia, the remaining are considered lakeshore communities. One of the flagship programs of San Juan administration is to provide equal housing opportunities for the homeless residents of Cardona. At the kickoff of the program, the LGU provided 83 housing units for the victims of typhoons Ondoy and Peping, particularly those who live along the lakeshore areas. The project is through the effort of Mayor Jun San Juan by coordinating with various government and non-government organizations. The project was partly funded by International Organization for Migration, or IOM. The Cardona Philippine National Police Force headquarters is located at Rizal Street, Barangay Real, a few meters away from the municipal building. The actual police strength in the municipality in 2014 is Crime solution efficiency is 100% while the average monthly crime rate is recorded at 7.19%. There are two private hospitals. Queen Mary Help of Christians Hospital, located in Barangay Kalahan and Carlos Medical and Maternity Clinic, located in Barangay Luok. The municipal health office currently has one municipal health officer, public health nurses, rural health midwives, sanitary inspector, dentist, and medical technologies. This translates to a doctor to population ratio of 1 is to 44,942, lower than the standard of 1 is to 20,000. Health services are being provided by the MHO on a roving basis per barangay in barangay health centers and other common areas. There are health centers in the municipality. Physical structure is the support mechanism structures on the social structure to ease the everyday activities of the people and to effectively deliver basic services. 
This includes skills development programs in technical vocational, training for productivity, entrepreneurship training, livelihood assistance, rice productivity enhancement, vegetable commercialization, animal production, fish production, meat processing, and investment promotion program. Cardona likewise is rich in culture and tradition which has become the town's source of pride and tourism-related source of income. The town is known for its Pistang Arkong Kawayan, a display of different bamboo arches made distinct by the display of local bamboo artistry, of local artists and made colorful with Christmas lights. The Sapau An Festival held in October 6 features colorful street dancing in honor of Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary and the traditional pagoda or procession on the lake with the throwing of bread into the water, symbolic of prayers for abundance of the sea. One of Cardona's distinct geological treasures garden is the rock garden, a product of years of physical and chemical weathering. The Cardona rock garden features hundreds of large stones formed by nature into unique shapes. The stones are considered among the interesting rock and stone formation in the country. Rock Garden, Sining Nalikha ng Panahon Isinabog ng bulkan na pumutok taang taon. Ang nakaraan na ang pinakabunganga ng bulkan ito ay ang kasulukuyang lawa ng Laguna. Ang mga batong ito ay maiyahanay sa mga pili at kamanghamanghang yaman ng kalikasan. Pinagbagong anyo sa pagdaraan ng panahon sa pamagitan ng pisikal at kemikal, ang mga batong ito ay isang kahangahangang likhang sining sa nililok ng panahon at maihanay sa antas ng pambansang pamana ng lahi. With these programs and projects, Mayor San Juan has significantly improved the material and living condition of the people and continues to realize Cardona's vision of a peaceful and orderly community of empowered people with progressive and sustainable economic opportunities and strong commitment to the conservation and protection of environment and natural resources. Isang mapagpalang araw po sa inyong lahat. Iniimbitahan ko po kayong dumalaw at makita ang bagong Cardona. Ang bayang tahimik, malinis, maganda. Tara na at jawa pura dito sa bayan ng Cardona. May bayan sa lalawigan ng Rizal.